Hello and welcome to another Antsvena episode everyone! I was actually planning to talk about the new queen I recently found, but then, unexpectedly, something bigger came up. If you are new to the channel, here I make info videos about the various ant species I encounter, share the knowledge I gain by researching them, build nests and outwards that provide ants the living space they need, and review all sorts of ant keeping products for you. So consider subscribing and you won't miss out. This time around though, I'll just show you what I found in my home's basement. Behold, the almighty leather beetle, also known as Carabus coriaceus. These beetles are one of the largest ground beetle species to be found in Europe and can be 30 to 40 millimeters long. And that's big. Scary big. Huge. Just to put this into perspective, we're going to make a size comparison. Here is our Lazio's Niger colony that we all know and love. Remember the worker size and the queen size. Next up, a normal mealworm beetle, already fairly bigger than our ant queen. And now, watch this. That's the leather beetle I found in my basement's corner. This is no joke, guys. If you happen to find one of these, don't even try to pick it up barehanded, unless you're prepared to lose part of your finger to these mandibles. Their heating armor is black, hard and wrinkled. During daytime, these beetles hide under moss or stones, so you are rarely going to see one. They are unable to fly and mostly nocturnal. After nightfall, they go on food search. They usually hunt insects that move on the first floor, like worms, beetles or snails. Sometimes they go for fruit as well. Insects, right? Worms, right? Ok, let's put that to the test. I quickly organized an acrylic box to put our fighters in. First up, a mealworm beetle. Second, our huge leather beetle. After nothing happened for 20 minutes, I decided to go even further. Here comes a helpless mealworm. But again, the big guy showed no interest whatsoever. So I put the mealworm and the small beetle back to their farm and gave them carrot pieces, which they love, while rewarding our unexpected guest with a snail I found in my garden. During night, I heard loud crunching sounds. I could swear something just broke. I jumped out of my bed to see this. The leather beetle had crashed part of the snail shell and was already eating it. To eat, they actually inject a fluid that 
decomposes its prey and after that they consume it in liquid form. Next morning I even saw the beetle halfway in the snail's shell. Oh my god! Apparently the front of the beetle's armor is narrower so it has an easier time getting in the shell of the snail. After meeting each other, me and the beetle both benefited. The beetle got a free delicious snail as a meal and I discovered and analyzed a new species living in my neighborhood. So I set our new friend free to the forest where it belongs. As always, leave me a thumbs up if you liked the video. It really helps me out. Also, consider subscribing to our channel since we still have many queens and colonies to introduce you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.